Your home with Build Aid on Mix 93.8. Proudly brought to you by AfriSam. AfriSam, creating concrete possibilities. This is Build Aid on Mix 93.8 FM. I'm going to be chatting to Warren Bruckman. Warren's going to talk to us about rising damp and a system that is really, really fascinating. Um, I'm going to buy one for sure. So stay tuned and find out what this is. My name is Graham Alexander in the studio, as usual, Kay and Simon. Kay, what fun are we having tonight? Well, we have a musical question tonight, and it's so easy. So I know everyone's going to get it right. So I'm going to just ask you the question. I'll give you clues later, in case you don't know. Which guitarist asked the question, are you experienced? If you know the answer, SMS us on 41348. Warren, thanks so much for coming to chat to us. Thank you, Graham. Thank you for having me here. And good evening to you and all your listeners and your wonderful team here. Good stuff. Um, I'm excited because I've been chatting to you already for about half an hour before we came on air. Yes. Um, I'm excited about chatting about your, your um, product. Um, Warren, your mm. company's name is Aquapole. Yes. And, and you guys have brought out a product system from Europe and you're the agents in South Africa. But I don't want to get into it just yet. I just want to find a, a little bit. A little, I'm talking about the product. Yes. Let's find out about your, your company. Well, the word aquapole actually means uh, aqua, which is water, and pole stands for polarization. So we essentially the company, uh, the genesis of the company uh, is Austria. It started 30 years ago. Uh, it's definitely not new news. Uh, it's five years old in South Africa. And with the 30-year history, we have, I think it's now over 55,000 installations worldwide. And it, it has representation in all the big countries around the world. The proliferation of the product has actually been exponential since uh, 2011. And that's when we got involved and brought the concept to South Africa. And in South Africa, it's been a, a case of, you know, as South Africans, we need to see it with our eyes before we believe it. It's been a case of uh, a tried and tested thing. And I must report, as of now, it's been massively successful just in its beta phase. And uh, recently, in fact, Mix FM, just a little side note on Mix FM, this is one hell of a team here and one wonderful radio station. We kind of went commercial, I think, about a year ago. And we, we chose Mix FM as the platform. And I will tell you, as a concept and an idea, promoting it through this radio station, I encourage all your listeners to get to Mix FM. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. It's been fantastic. No, that's, that's, mm. that's really cool. Yes. And Warren, a bit about yourself um, and how did you get involved with something like this? Well, I was, uh, I mean, I, my, my history is, um, I, I was in construction for a while. I've been involved with many different types of businesses. My background from a university perspective was accounting and I'm definitely not an accountant. But when I was in uh, the US in 2011 and having had some kind of uh, construction background, a guy said to me, have you heard of this concept where uh, there's this non-intrusive uh, device which hangs from the ceiling, you don't plug it in, there's no battery power, and it can dry out a whole building. And I literally was completely disbelieving of the whole thing. But the courage of my convictions, I then uh, flew to, to Europe and I actually found out a little bit about this. So yeah, that's pretty much my history and the way I found Aquapol. We're going to be chatting essentially around rising damp. Yes. I would guess most homes, this has been my experience, mm. most homes have has rising damp somewhere um, for different reasons and so on. And, it, and just in case people don't understand what rising damp is, Warren, what does it look like typically? Well, the, the, uh, the, the cause of rising damp, which we will go into, is, is, is new news. Um, the, the kind of conventional guys will tell you that there's a phenomena called capillary action or wicking that occurs in the wall where the wall sucks up water and as a result of the moisture in the wall the plaster will bubble you'll have salt which will effluesce or come out of the wall break open your plaster your bricks get all powdery and it's really from an aesthetic point of view it's a very ugly thing to look at Coupled with that, the, 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 the moisture in the wall makes buildings very cold. And then there's the associated health that goes with uh, a wet building with lots of mold and, you know, broken plaster. So, yeah, that's, okay. uh, that's you know, people know it yeah. generally. And it generally rots the skirting. 
So, yes, correct. So, so those are the symptoms of, of rising damp. And yes. that's what we're going to be chatting about tonight is, is Aquato- a- Aquapol's system or or a um, bit of magic that we're going to find <laughs> or call it a box or whatever, yes. um, and how it actually um, stops rising damp. I'm, I'm really excited about this thing. My yeah. name is Graham Alexander. I'm chatting to Warren Buckman. We're talking about rising damp, but mm. more importantly, their system um, that prevents or cures rising damp rather. What is this magic box, <laughs> Warren, and how does it work? Yeah, good question. Um, well, the, I think most of your listeners will understand that the scourge or the, the cancer of rising damp is an ongoing problem. So what happens is it becomes a symptomatic repair scenario. You know, you call the guy in, the conventional guy chops off your plaster, he sticks in chemical-based stuff into the wall, and essentially he's trying to eliminate this problem that, invariably after a short period of time anything from two you know two to five years will repeat itself in some cases within months what our founder in the 80s he found out that there's a source to rising damp which isn't pervasively known or understood and he then he developed this device which hangs from the ceiling as i said early on has no battery connection no electrical connection and it eliminates there is this, this unknown factor, which is an upward push. There's a natural phenomena that occurs in the Earth and uh, where two energies, gravitic and magnetic energy, will combine in the presence of water and boost. So you, as opposed to this concept of having a wall you know, sucking up the water, there's this other factor where uh, this energy phenomena in the presence of water will push water up. So now I get the concept you have a misplaced or damaged DPC or no DPC, what's going to happen? And the, the water is going to find a hole, go above the DPC line, which is a damp proof coursing, find the wall, and then go up to a point where the atmospheric pressure from above will neutralize that. And that's essentially rising damp. Now, our device is counterintuitive. It actually utilizes that gravomagnetic energy against itself and dampens the upward push as well as polarizing the water molecule. Now, a water molecule, because of the polarity that exists, has a upward motion within the wall. So this device will polarize that, which means switch it around and push the water down into the ground. And that's essentially how it works. Um, Yeah, the simplicity Um, of it. It does sound like a physics lesson. It does, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I try to be simple yeah, there. But just, just so we can start to like picture things, okay? Yes. The, the, the thing that hangs from the, ce- the ceiling, how big is it? Is it a box? Is it cylindrical? Um, what does it look like? Well, we, we have three size devices, the Pyramus, the Inca, and the Apple. And they're named uh, that way because the big one, which is the Apple, kind of looks like an Apple. Um, but the, the three devices, um, very aesthetic. The Inca kind of looks like a beehive. Uh, and the Pyramus almost looks like it's got a little pyramid on each side of it, almost like a spaceship type style. So from an aesthetic point of view, it, it's very attractive. I mean, we installing in 40 million rand homes and these things are hanging there. It's almost like this space age alarm system. So people, but you can install it in the ceiling, you can install it away, you know, in the garage, wherever. Um, that, that kind of spec is determined by our engineers. So it's definitely not an ugly thing, but the, what we are going for is complete coverage of the property because in our guarantee, we give a permanent uh, guarantee on eradicating rising damp, literally permanently. And uh, we have a clause in there that says if we don't get rid of your rising damp within our guarantee period, we'll refund your money. So we, we stand by what yeah. we, we say. Once you've installed the device, yes. um, it's probably a tricky question, but how long does it take um, for, for the dampness to... Yeah, so that's a good question because your, um, your conventional methods appear to be immediate. However, it's symptomatic repair, so you're only masking the problem. We're going for um, eliminating damp permanently. So to answer your question, it's anything from 7 to 12 months. In fact, the longest we've taken to fully dry out a building was, I think it was 15 or 16 months, to a point where we then advise the client to say, now you can do your remediation, and the solution is done indefinitely. But, uh, you, you know, along with the drying out process, there may be factors which cause, you know, some salt to come out and bubbling. You don't want the guy to go on day one to do repairs 
hospitality industries are a little bit different. So, for example, Sun International, they use this in a big resort of theirs, and they've got to have the aesthetic there. And what we found out in the drying out process, it didn't bubble. It literally just dried out, and they left it. And then after, I think there it was 12 months, they did their remediation, and now they have a, a working installation. So, yeah, that's the, the, the difference. But the, the longevity of the solution which is a lifetime solution, makes sense. You know, you want to get rid of that moisture and keep it out. You're also an inter, it's an international yes. product. Yes. So, so you've, you must have, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of case studies. There, I think there's uh, over 55,000 installations now. Um, uh, Vili and, he, you know, his focus initially was Europe, uh, Austria, Germany, Italy. They're very successful there. Uh, and, I mean, Aquapol, the product, has probably gone through a few evolutions itself into, in terms of promotion and marketing. But in 2011, he was stable enough, big enough as a company, because an international release is not an easy thing. You know, your manufacturing has to be up to par, et cetera. Your, the economics of it have to make sense in all countries. And he pressed the, uh, the go button. And with that now, uh, it's exponential. I mean, the, the quantity, if you look at our graph statistically the growth of this solution is exponential over the last five six years when it comes to installation um would you would you go and assess the site first yeah. measure up check for these other damn problems yeah. um then what's involved with the installation so we do a free assessment um we qualify a lot of the leads uh, telephonically because again if you have damp in one area and this is to all you listeners out there if you have damp in one area typically that's not rising damp that's an isolated moisture issue traced back to a broken pipe or that lateral phenomenon you talk about. Damp, rising damp tends to be pervasive, which means it pervades the entirety of the building. A lot of it can be hidden. So we qualify the, the client to some degree. Then we go out and do a free inspection. We then put it all together in a report format which is actually great for the Consumer Protection Act because guys selling homes now with damp in them, they, they get caught out. We like yeah. the, we're like the the damp police, so to speak. <laughs> uh, and then we, uh, they decide. They get educated. They get educated to the point where they might say, no, 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 I don't want to go aquapod. We say, fine, you're going to be in a better position understanding now than you would have been before. And then uh, they, you know, not, no obligation to order. The installation only takes uh, six hours, I think it is. So once they order, we, we spec the whole thing, and then the engineers go in and install. Warren, I'll be back with you in, in a sec. Yes. Okay, so who's the winner? Who's the winner? What are they winning? Everybody's a winner. I don't think one single person got Oh, yeah, home. this week there's no oranges or no. avos. And what about some ice cream? Ice cream. Our very last ice cream winner actually messaged us. Um, Mark, and he lives on the other side of the world. He was one of our Far East listeners, and he's very excited because Atlanta went all the way. <laughs> it was quite a journey for her to deliver this morning. Okay, okay. so next week we're going to give away a three-inch T-bone steak and two craft beers. <laughs> Again, okay, the last person who got that prize was very excited. So let me tell you the answer. It was Jimi Hendrix, and every single person was correct because he is the one and only. Thanks to Kay, thanks to Simon looking after the desk, but more importantly, Non Klantler has been driving the desk and she's going to do it all by herself next week. And to Ian, who's been forming all of this, but most importantly to my guest, Warren from Aquapol. Thank you so much. Graham, thank you so much. Absolute pleasure. And let me just punt uh, Mix FM again. You guys are an awesome, awesome team. And your listeners should use this uh, platform. It's fantastic. Fantastic. And oh, yeah, your website, is it aquapol.co.za? A-Q-U-A-P-O-L dot C-O dot Z-A. As easy as that. Up next is Adam Ford Mustang and motoring in the mix. We'll catch you next week. Same time. Ciao. With BuildAid on Mix brings you all sorts of interesting info about building. Graham Alexander chats to different guests every Wednesday evening between 6 and 7. Proudly brought to you by AfriSam. AfriSam, creating concrete possibilities.